In Nuke 13.1, we have continued our work to improve the 3D system and remove some of the frustrations there were. We have updated the 3D controls to now be consistent when moving from Katana to Nuke or between Nuke and your chosen 3D application, making the switch between the two much smoother. This release has introduced a new toolbar in the viewer where we can now select whether we want to translate, rotate or scale our 3D elements. We've also updated the hotkeys to be the same as Katana with W for translate, E for rotate, R for scale and Q to select. However, you have the option in the preferences under the viewer controls to change these to work either the same as Katana and Maya, Houdini and Flame, Blender, or you have the option to go back to Nuke's classic hotkey controls. The next thing we added was the ability to pick whether you want to move your geometry based on the object space, which will move your object relative to the object's rotation, screen space, so your object moves relative to your screen or the plane perpendicular to your camera's direction, and finally, world space, which uses the overall coordinates of the entire scene. As I switch between these, you can see the transform widget controls update. I'm gonna add this graffiti element to the left wall of our projection setup. First, I create a card and attach it to my element. Now, if we view the card, we have the ability to adjust its pivot point. We can do this either in the properties or by holding control on Windows and Linux or command on Mac to drag the position of the axis to its desired location. Then we can add our 3D object to our scene. We can use the different screen modes to position our element quickly. First, using world space to get its basic position. Then by looking through the camera and using screen space, we can start to make adjustments of the position based on how the camera sees it. Along with these updates, the transform widget has been updated, which brings in the ability to control the transform and scale on two axes at once. Jumping back to the default view, we can make a few more adjustments to our element. But as you can see, as I try to rotate my object in the current screen space, it's not giving me the result I want. But by switching to object space, the controls update, and we can now rotate the object into the position we want much smoother. So by using these new space modes together, you have more control over the position of your elements in the 3D space, much smoother than before. Now, looking at the 2D viewer's result, we can see the placement of the element, and in this view, we can always jump back to our card. Then by using our 3D controls in the viewer, we can make any final adjustments to its position. Thanks for watching.